Ladies and gentlemen, the next generation of Dolby Vision has officially been announced. Dolby Vision 2 and Dolby Vision 2 Max take the guesswork out of optimizing your TV's picture, but you'll need to wait for a new batch of TVs and updated content to truly experience all that it has to offer. Let's talk about it. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is Acoustically Speaking. Dolby Laboratories is attempting to raise the bar again with Dolby Vision 2, the next evolution in HDR picture quality. Leading the charge, Hisense will be the first TV brand to bring Dolby Vision 2 to its premium RGB mini LED TVs, while Canal Plus has confirmed content support for the new format. Building on over a decade of Dolby Vision integration, Dolby Vision 2 has been engineered to deliver brighter, sharper, and more lifelike images, advancing the standard for TV picture quality across all screens. But probably not that $3,500 OLED TV you just purchased. Sorry. If you have shopped for a TV recently, you've probably seen HDR mentioned in almost every review or news article. But what exactly is it? HDR, or high dynamic range, is a technology that lends images more contrast, more detail in bright and dark scenes, and a wider color palette. The goal of HDR is to bring display devices closer to what your eyes see in real life. Dolby Vision in particular is a version of something called Dynamic HDR, which adjusts the dynamic range of what you're watching to precisely match the capabilities of your TV or projector, allowing a display to preserve the details in bright clouds without losing details in shadowy scenes. Dolby Vision aims to set a standard for TV picture quality with frame-by-frame -frame dynamic metadata that optimizes every scene. And now Dolby Vision 2 takes that even further, promising sharper contrast, more vivid colors, and smarter performance across different TV sizes. Meaning what you see on your screen will look closer to reality than ever before. This sounds great as marketing copy, but how that actually translates to reality in your living room or dedicated home theater space remains to be seen. As eCoustics writer Chris Boylan covered in the article WTF is HDR, high dynamic range is a feature of Ultra HD, 4K, and 8K content, and TVs that let display show a wider range of colors and brightness. That means images can look brighter, more vibrant, and far more lifelike. HDR comes in two flavors, static HDR, which applies one set of brightness and color settings to whatever you're watching from start to finish. And then there's dynamic HDR, which adjusts those settings scene by scene, or sometimes even frame by frame. Dolby Vision falls into the dynamic HDR camp, giving TVs a much smarter, more precise way to render every moment. HDR is all about showing a bigger difference between the darkest blacks and the brightest whites, and everything in between. The capture happens in cameras and mastering studios when movies and TV shows are made. The reproduce part happens on your display, meaning your TV monitor or projector. HDR only works if it's in both the content and the screen. It's a partnership, really. Dolby Vision also handles WCG, or Wide Color Gamut, going all the way up to the REC 2020 color standard with up to 12-bit precision. If HDR is about brightness, WCG is about color. The more colors and brightness levels your display can reproduce, the more lifelike and dynamic the picture will look. You'll find Dolby Vision in premium movie theaters, usually paired with Dolby Atmos and Dolby Cinemas, and it's also made its way home via high-end TVs, monitors, projectors, streaming services, and Ultra HD Blu-rays. HDR content is everywhere now, from Netflix to Disney Plus, and nearly all 4K or Ultra HD TVs support some form of it. But not all HDR is created equal, and many HDR TVs still fall short of delivering a truly dynamic lifelike picture. Dolby Vision 2 enables more controls for creators to more accurately display movie and TV content based on both the varying capabilities of a TV and your room's lighting condition. 
It's a dynamic system that automatically works in the background so consumers can have the confidence they're getting the best image from their TV without having to fiddle with picture settings. As John Cooling, SVP of Entertainment at Dolby Laboratories puts it, we've reached an inflection point where TV technology has dramatically changed while artists continue to demand even more innovative tools. Dolby Vision 2 redefines how we think of Dolby Vision to unleash the full capabilities of modern TVs while giving artists unprecedented opportunities to push their creative boundaries further than ever before. Precision Black leverages new metadata captured in the filmmaker's grading suite. When combined with new metadata representing TV characteristics, Precision Black uses content intelligence to give viewers grading suite accurate contrast for even the dark scenes. Authentic Motion solves the challenges of unwanted judder that can occur on certain shots within movies and TV shows that are presented in 24 frames per second, especially as TVs are increasingly bigger and brighter. It's an innovative new approach, but controlled through new Dolby Vision 2 metadata by the artist. This new feature leverages content intelligence to help the creator identify potential trouble areas in a scene, and then allow them to adjust a specific amount of de-judder for those shots or scenes only that they feel best matches the look of what they're trying to convey and only at the amount they believe is needed to strike the perfect balance for the creatives and the viewers. Think of it as Dolby Vision for motion. Instead of relying on the TV's motion smoothing settings, which often ruin films by turning 24 frames per second movies into that dreaded soap opera effect. Authentic motion lets filmmakers tweak motion shot by shot at the mastering stage. Those adjustments are then passed to the TV via Dolby Vision 2, so the picture moves naturally only when it needs to, without TVs overstepping and messing with artistic intent. If it works as advertised, it could finally fix the one place where filmmaker mode has always struggled, keeping motion authentic without forcing TVs to do the heavy lifting and essentially screwing it up. But honestly, you should probably only expect to see that feature on TVs utilizing the premium variant of Dolby Vision 2 called Dolby Vision 2 Max. According to Dolby, even a minimum setting of 3 or 4 makes just enough difference to solve the judder and avoid the dreaded soap opera video effect. LightSense has been improved over what was originally called Dolby Vision IQ to capture viewing environment conditions and reference capabilities of the TV model to deliver authentic contrast, day or night, preserving bright and dark details in any room and lighting conditions. Content Intelligence is the bridge that connects the creative suite to the viewer's living room through the set of new tools and features I just mentioned that allows Dolby Vision 2 to authentically and automatically unlock the most out of your TV while not compromising artistic intent. Dolby Image Engine is the engine that powers it all. It unleashes the full capabilities of your TV while being guided by Dolby Vision metadata, which adapts the picture to the TV's capabilities and environment, building on top of the creative-driven tone mapping that is foundational to Dolby Vision. Bidirectional tone mapping improves upon Dolby Vision's tone mapping capabilities, which closely matches contents to a TV's capabilities. What's new is that the content intelligence unlocks the full capabilities of modern displays while still ensuring an even more authentic translation of the content through new information, i.e. metadata, that creatives now add to the Dolby Vision signal combined with reimagine and new technology on the hardware side. There are also optimizations for live sports, including white point adjustment and motion control, both aimed squarely at making broadcasts look more sharp and more natural in real time. Hisense is the first out of the gate, bringing Dolby Vision 2 to its flagship 116-inch RGB mini-LED TV. Powered by the new MediaTek Pentonic 800 with Mirror Vision Pro PQ engine, the first silicon chip to integrate Dolby Vision 2. Sunny Ming, GM of Hisense TV product marketing, had this to say. Dolby Vision 2 jointly with Hisense RGB mini LED technology can not only deliver dramatically astonishing picture, but also increase the potential of TVs with ultra wide color and ultra high brightness, which haven't been possible until today. And while Hisense is a solid brand to kick things off, they honestly sell millions of TVs worldwide every year, the real question is how deep does this go? Will Dolby Vision 2 stay locked to their top tier sets? or eventually trickle down through the rest of the lineup. 
Meanwhile, Canal Plus is the first media and entertainment group to jump on board, which is great for French subscribers, but let's be honest, Canal Plus isn't exactly a household name in North America. Still, the move shows that content adoption is coming pretty soon. Stéphane Baumier, CTO of Canal Plus, said this, This partnership with Dolby reflects Canal Plus's pioneering spirit of innovation. With the launch of Dolby Vision 2 across movies, series, and live sports, that experience reaches breathtaking new heights. So far, the only confirmed launch partner is Hisense, but even then, no specific models outside of the 116 UX RGB mini LED 4K TV have been named. Until we know whether Dolby Vision 2 is locked to their flagship sets or something broader, it's honestly a wait and see game. As for the rest of the industry, LG and Sony have long backed Dolby Vision and Panasonic is on board as well. So they're clearly all natural candidates, but nothing official yet. TCL could also be in the mix given their history of supporting Dolby Vision, even in their more affordable sets. Samsung, on the other hand, is still digging in with HDR10+, and continues to ignore Dolby Vision altogether, so don't expect them to change course anytime soon. Yes, which means any Dolby Vision 2 or Dolby Vision 2 Max encoded content will display to the highest level of Dolby Vision's capabilities that each TV supports. So, older Dolby Vision enabled TVs can still display Dolby Vision 2 content, but they won't get access to the new Dolby Vision 2 features. Essentially, the extra metadata is ignored while preserving the HDR benefits. However, the next big question is can today's TVs be upgraded to Dolby Vision 2, or will it only run on next gen sets with newer chipsets built specifically for Dolby Vision 2? Based on Dolby's release, it looks like new hardware will be required, which is not great news if you just drop thousands on a new flagship OLED like the Sony Bravia 8 II, LG G5, or Panasonic Z95B, all of which were part of the Value Electronics TV shootout judged by Acoustic's very own Chris Boylan, among others. Needless to say, if you own any of those recent five-star TVs, don't expect Dolby Vision 2 to show up via a firmware update. Just saying. As if HDR standards weren't already confusing enough, Dolby is now splitting things into two tiers, Dolby Vision 2 and Dolby Vision 2 Max. But as you might have guessed, the Max version is better and is likely only to be offered on the highest performing TVs. The main advantage is unlocking authentic motion, which we have explained already. Translation, if you want the absolute best Dolby has to offer, you'll need to shell out for the most expensive TVs. Everyone else, you'll get the standard Dolby Vision 2 experience and probably a sense of FOMO when your buddy down the street opts for the flagship TV. Having no advance briefings on the topic, we were as surprised as everyone else about the Dolby Vision 2 announcement. And with just a single TV maker and a fairly obscure studio on board at launch, it feels a little premature. It's almost as if Dolby had to get this news out before some competitor beat them to the punch, I guess? So. Will Dolby Vision 2 be the next big thing in consumer display technology and in consumer media? Only time will tell. So what do you have to say, folks? Is it yet another reason to shell out even more money on an eventual TV upgrade? Or are you just fine with your current mid-tier or flagship OLED TV with boring old Dolby Vision 1 baked in? It's so hard to keep up with all these advancements in tech these days, right? We feel ya. With that being said, as always, to stay in the know with everything revolving around TVs, home theater, home audio, hi-fi, wearables, gadgets, and tech, please bookmark eacoustics.com on your web browser. Until next time.